Hey everyone, I'm Sue Kinderson Casty, founder and chairman of Joyous, and welcome to our very first talk show. So today I'm joined by Kelly, Michaela, Daniel. All of our regular hosts are starting in a whole new format this week, all of our fabulous product picks, but packaged in a whole new way. You won't want to miss it. Let's get started and hear what's going on a little bit in each of your worlds. It might be hot as blazes out there, but I am so excited about the fall merchandise that's hitting the stores right now. I've had a lot of clients calling me. They want their closets redone, and I'm so excited to go in, redo their closets, and take them shopping. So that's what I've been doing lately. Can what you come you? to my closet yes. and do that? <laughs> I'm there. Thank you. I think, every, I think everybody at Joyous gets Kelly's closet services, which is awesome. Yes. Go, go ahead, Mikkel. What's up with you? So I want to tell you guys about this new app that I found. It's called Beautified. It's getbeautified.org. And basically, I'm obsessed with it. I just used it when I was in New York earlier this week. And you can book same-day services in the city. They're starting out in New York. They're going to be in LA, San Francisco, all the major cities across the country. And you can get a quick blowout, a quick brow wax, and it's all appointments that you can book through your iPhone or your smart phone. And I'm really excited about it. It's saving me time. Nice. And they're pre kind of certified places, like girlfriend approved. And nice. they're some of my favorite little like hidden gems in all the cities. So I'm really excited. I think we talked about this before as yeah. well. There's one other app worth checking out, which is Style Seat, which lets yes. you book a stylist straight to your home. Yeah. Started here in San Francisco, and I think rolling out across the country. That I don't know. I don't know what cities it's hit. So another one to check out. And I think with Sty Styles, you can actually book your artist or your service to come to you, right. your office huge. or home or you know hotel or something. So that's Saving really fun. Time. Yeah, kind of like Uber. I love that. A beauty. Exactly. Yes. Beauty. Yes. Mm -hmm. We should actually try booking them here. Um, Daniel, <laughs> <laughs> what about for you? Sometimes the most important part when I style someone is getting rid of stuff that they don't need anymore to make room yes. so that they're yes. emotionally ready for the next thing. And I've had a lot of clients lately where Purging. we're getting rid of like old boyfriend's t-shirts and maybe mm -hmm. they're divorced and we're getting rid of the rehearsal dinner dress, mm -hmm. which they've held on to and nobody knows it's in the closet mm -hmm. except them. It's time to so purge. So we get rid of it and we closet <laughs> cleanse and it feels so good. Oh, that's nice. It does feel good. <laughs> So you all are deep in it, it sounds like. Um, <laughs> even though it's the middle of the summer, it sounds like it's not the middle of the summer for you. You guys are all working pretty hard. So for today, I decided to pick a topic for us all around the modern woman. And sort of what is the definition of a modern woman to you? What does it take to be a modern woman? Daniel, <laughs> what do you know of modern women? <laughs> and how you service, and how you service them. Um, but really, you know, Kind of what does it take to sort of be successful these days is kind of a woman of our times. Yeah. Um, who's got something to say on the subject? Well, the second I thought of modern woman, I thought of modern man. Because, I don't go, know, my, my father, he never changed a diaper. And I know without my husband, I would not be a modern woman today. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can agree. So can well, I yeah, I mean, you know, <laughs> I've, I think I've been pretty vocal on this topic that for every amazing woman, there's usually somebody, a great man in the background, a father, a husband, whatever, who makes it possible. So yeah, I believe yep. that about my dad. I actually believe it about my husband too. So um, yes, agree with you. I've got a totally modern male at home. On that subject, yeah. I think sometimes the modern woman, as she modernizes herself, she's finding herself closer to that midpoint between a man and a woman. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. she's taking on some of the roles that a man typically would in the house and taking on some of the roles in society that a man would. And I even can see with mm -hmm. my clients, I'll go in and it's a, it's a man and a wife, boy and girl, whatever they are, roommates even. <laughs> yeah. And I go to the girl's closet, mm -hmm. we start our consultations, and I bring clothes in and they see me carrying all these new things mm. in. And then the guy starts to twinkle a little bit. You'll see him like have a little twitch about him when I come through. And they want it to be done for them too. So I see as they are modernizing and hmm. you know, having yeah. a stylist, using those services, mm -hmm. that men are starting to see that they can have it too. And it's interesting. I just did my first mm -hmm. male client mm -hmm. last week and it was amazing. He's his wife wants the service now, okay. but he, he was a changed man. So I think it's great for guys to do that. Totally. It's great. So for you, you think the modern woman is having an influence on the modern man? In terms of nice. Yeah. I yeah. think that they're influencing things because no longer is the territory so wide between a man and a woman that both sides are unattainable to the other. Mm -hmm. I think as we get closer to that line down the middle, we share some of the same interests and that's pretty. That's a pretty interesting take on it. Not what I would have expected, um, but interesting. Uh, Michaela, what do you what do you think? I mean, what do you yes. think the modern woman is? Right now, I'm really inspired by 
a film that I saw a couple of years ago that was actually put on, um, I think directed and produced by Jennifer Sibel Newsom. It was called Misrepresentation. And I was really inspired by that. I was invited to the screening at this TEDx Marin conference. And it really is about talking about women misrepresented in media. And we've come a really long way, but we still have a really long way to go. And I think what we're doing here at Joyous is a big, why, like part of why I'm here is that we can start to really value and kind of shift those like cultural stereotypes that we think of the perfect modern day woman and really kind of recreate that for ourselves and kind of put a realistic, more authentic voice um, on what that looks like. So and be that's, the perfect version of yourself, not the perfect yeah, version of somebody else. Yeah, I love else. that. Nice. So what's, yeah. the name of the, what's the name of the film? It's Misrepresentation? The film, yes, misrepresentation.org. And this is by, for, for those of you who aren't aware, this is from Jennifer Newsom, who is actually the former wife, the wife of the former mayor of San Francisco, Gavin Newsom, um, who actually filmed the documentary, right? Um, if I were to think about myself, I would say what shows up for me in Modern Woman is something um, different, but, um, but pretty cool. We had Sophia Bush in our offices several weeks ago, and she talked about this hashtag she started on Twitter, which, uh, which is smart is sexy. And I loved it because her whole thesis, of course, is that why do you have to choose? That, that women can both be smart and sexy. Um, and then last week, I think you guys are aware, Joyce got this award from L'Oreal. So we were in New York for this Women in Digital Award, and um, Olivia Munn from the newsroom was there. And again, her theme was, I'm not sure why women have to choose. Why is it that we choose to be technologists, but we can't be beautiful? Why is it that we choose to be, you know, we can be earmarked as an engineer, but not care about wearing high heels? And this whole thesis that kind of women have to choose, I think, has gone away. Um, and so sort of I love the hashtag smart is sexy from Sophia Bush and I love the idea that women don't have to choose and they can be both. So that's sort of my take. I've been both. I absolutely that. agree. <laughs> well, it seems like it's, it's, yeah, finally and people recognize that sort of we want to be both and that's all okay. Okay, so one uh, last topic I want to touch on that came into customer service was really around some of our language in our video uh, using the word girls. I think, Michaela, this one was maybe directed to one of your videos. So do you want to just touch on that briefly um, and how we kind of... Yeah. Sure. So first of all, I'm always trying to speak from an authentic place, and I try not to overthink how I'm directing my language towards our friends, our girlfriends, ladies, women. So I really love the feedback. Thank you for calling that out. I think as we all communicate with each other, I think it's important to be mindful of how we are directing language towards each yeah. other and elevating Definitely. how we speak to each other mm -hmm. and doing so in a respectful way. I know you girls love this. Yeah. I, know I you, say girls I know I you chicas love this. Yeah. I'm speaking other right? languages. I say girl because I think I'm talking to my girlfriend. Yeah. So My girlfriend. Yeah. So We heard it. We appreciate yeah. it. So keep the feedback coming. You can write into us on our Twitter handle, at Joyous. Um, and as I said, the most important thing is we'd love to get more questions and be able to sort of come back to you on everything you're asking us about. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us for our first ever talk show. We're super excited to get started on this. And we're going to leave you with a quick sneak peek of what's coming this week on Joyous. Um, but everybody, time to say goodbye. All right. Bye. Bye. Bye.